We get movies, music, and television on demand. But how about shoes? The next time you're in a shoe store, I want you to go up to one of the employees and say, hey, I really like this pair of Nikes, but can I get one where the swoosh is backward and the sole is one millimeter thicker? Then take a picture of that employee's confused face and share it with us on Twitter. The reason the shoe store employee looks confused is because modern manufacturing is built on the concept of large manufacturing runs. A company is not going to retool its assembly line process just to make a custom pair of shoes for you, which sounds logical, but it does mean that you create a lot of stock and you have to store that someplace. That means money. So what's the solution to this problem? Well, stop. Okay, this is the part where you expect me to say something like, uh, we'll live in a magical land where we'll all have 3D printers sitting right next to our solar-powered washing machines, and with the push of a button, custom shoes will appear before us and life will be grand. Okay, you're half right. We will have some of those things, and life will be grand, but it's gonna take a few more years of going to the shoe store before we see that. However, rest assured, I think our future of custom-made shoes isn't just a pipe dream. You see, back in the 1950s, Japanese manufacturing companies started creating a system called just-in-time, or manufacturing on demand. The idea was to eliminate inventory by producing products when they were ordered. But there are revolutionary applications for manufacturing on demand. And yeah, 3D printing plays a part in some of them. Let's take a medical manufacturing company, for example. They might make a new implant for people who have had knee surgery. Now, you wouldn't just send off a design to go and have a million of these units produced right away. Instead, you'd have to go through a prototyping process, which can be really expensive. But if you use a 3D printer with additive manufacturing, you can prototype much more quickly and cut down on those production costs. Another issue with large-scale manufacture is that it's large. Let's take the production of biologic drugs, for example. Stuff like insulin for diabetes patients, or chemotherapy drugs, or vaccinations. Biologics require being cultured in living cells using genetic engineering. This is a lot more complex. So what's the big deal? Well, let's say that there's a region that's affected by a natural disaster, like an earthquake or a flood. Access to that region might be cut off, meaning the people who may need medications can't get what they need. Not only that, but medical personnel can't get there to find out what's wrong, and by the time access is restored, they still have to get to the site, assess the situation, call in for any biological drugs that are required, and then wait for those to be shipped from where they're produced to where they're needed. And by that time, it might be too late for some patients. But MIT scientists have teamed with DARPA on the InSight program, which aims to make the production of biologics faster and more portable. Now, it's still in the early stages, but the plan is to allow teams to move into disaster areas, carrying what amounts to be a portable lab in the back of a Jeep, or maybe even in backpacks. Now, the team can move quickly through the disaster area, and if a hospital's supply of drugs have been affected by the disaster, they can create a limited production run for the patients most in need of that drug. Now, with biologics, this means using recombinant DNA implanted into special bacteria like E. coli. Then you use a computer that interfaces with manufacturing equipment that has the instructions for each biologic drug. Now, another use for this amazing technology could be in the production of vaccines. Humanitarian aid workers in crisis areas could respond to changing conditions on the ground the next time something like Ebola or SARS pops up. I really think this technology has amazing potential, but I want to know what you think. Do you think it's going to make a difference? Will you just be ordering shoes all day long, or is it really transformative? I want to hear your thoughts about this technology in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit like, subscribe to our channel, and then hey, I got some special videos here on demand for you right over here. <laughs>